Hi there. My name is Corey, and I'm with the exhibits department at the WDM. Welcome to my kitchen. I'll be exploring the cookbooks in our collection, pulling out some recipes, and then sharing them with you. So let's go explore. To understand puff wheat cake, we have to travel back to 1914 and the start of World War I. Since puff grains like rice and wheat allowed cooks to do more with less, this allowed more grain to be sent overseas to help feed the soldiers. It was around this time that a local Red Deer candy store operator, Alfred James Russell, came up with the idea for a cake using puff wheat and molasses, a substitute for sugar that was in demand again because of the war. Puff wheat cake was born. The Ladies Auxiliary to Royal Canadian Legion from Steinbeck, Manitoba put together this cookbook in 1984. Their recipe for puff wheat cake can be made with either syrup or honey. The Celebrities Cookbook featured favorite recipes of favorite people. This book was published by the North Park United Church Women's Auxiliary in 1952. Another recipe from the Lilydale United Workers Cookbook. This recipe uses nine cups of puff wheat instead of the usual eight. The featured recipe is from Beatrice Thibodeau's personal cookbook. She started this recipe journal in January of 1936. She must have a sweet tooth because along with one cup of sugar, her recipe uses two cups of syrup and only six cups of puff wheat. I tried to stay true to the recipe but decided to use eight cups of puff wheat instead of the six to help spread out the mixture. A big tip, well more of a requirement, is to pre-grease the cake pan and measure out the puff wheat into a large mixing bowl. You will not have time for this later. Next, in a medium saucepan, add in the butter, syrup, and brown sugar. Heat until this is combined. Then, add in the cocoa, vanilla, and water. Stir and continue heating. Bring the mixture to a gentle boil. While mixing, let the mixture boil for five to 10 minutes to fully dissolve the sugar. Then pour the mixture over the puff wheat and mix well. You are not just mixing the coat, but to allow the mixture to soak into the puff wheat. Pour the puffed wheat mixture into the grease pan. Spread and pack the mixture with a spatula. Set this aside or in the fridge to cool and set. The fridge is best. So, puff wheat cake. Well, this recipe I have to admit is rather sweet with two cups of syrup in it. Um, and it took a while to set up because of that. But uh, at the end of the day, you get a nice, gooey, fall apart puff wheat cake um, that tastes absolutely amazing. Throw it in the fridge. It's actually really nice being a little cool um, and it stays apart a little bit, it stays uh, together a little bit better. Anyways, till next time, happy eating. Now you can try the recipe as is, or I would cut down the syrup and increase the cocoa. But try it out either way and let us know how it went. <laughs>